Because of ice's amazing preservative properties, many relics of our planet's past can be found frozen within the glaciers and ice sheets. Many of these have seen the light of day due to global warming, and some are easily identifiable, while others are downright mysterious. From a pack animal from the Iron Age of the most unusual mummies you'll ever see, here are 10 mysterious discoveries found frozen in ice. Number 10. An Iron Age Horse. In 2013, the remains of a horse dating back to the Iron Age was found 2,000 meters up the mountains of Norway. This is only one of a series of discoveries made by scientists at the time, as global warming melts glaciers and ice sheets, revealing perfectly preserved relics of the past. This is the first time that such an animal was found in that high of altitude, giving rise to a lot of questions, primarily what is it doing there? The find can give archaeologists a unique insight into how the Iron Age people of the region lived. In fact, some had already theorized that people from the Iron Age regularly hunted reindeer up in the mountains, and they used horses to transport their cash back to their villages. Number 9. World War I Soldiers The small village of Paio in today's Italy was once the site of a bloody battle now known as the White War. Situated at an altitude of 6,500 feet, this was the highest settlement of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. But despite the inhospitable conditions, it was still dragged into the conflict in 1915. The fierce conflict high in the mountains went largely unnoticed by the rest of the world at the time, but today, as the region's ice melts, archaeologists and historians are learning more about the amazing feats of bravery of those involved. Dozens of artifacts have been revealed by the melting ice. Helmets and guns, even an unmailed love letter from one of the soldiers to a girl named Maria. Of course, ice mummies of the soldiers were found as well. In 2012, the mummified bodies of two blonde and blue-eyed Austrian soldiers, aged just 17 and 18 years old, were uncovered from the ice. Both had been shot through the head and buried in a crevasse on the Presina Glacier by their comrades. Locals held a funeral for the pair in 2013, and 200 people from around Pio attended. Number 8. New Islands Many new and mysterious things have been revealed by the melting of the world's permafrost. While all these discoveries can be considered massive, here's something that quite literally is. Scientists studying the Strinstrup and Kyer glaciers in northwest Greenland have observed the emergence of several brand new islands from the ice between 1999 and 2014. The Strinstrup glacier has been steadily receding for the past six and a half decades, allowing the previously ice-covered islands to see the light of day. Due to this, maps were needed to be redrawn. Glaciers actually retreat in advance in a cyclical fashion, but according to many glacier researchers, the recent pace and extent of the retreat has suggested an acceleration due to global warming. If the ice continues to recede, more land masses that have lain hidden in the ice for thousands of years could be exposed. Number 7. A Giant Virus From something that's big, we now move on to something absolutely tiny. Tiny, but when compared to its contemporaries, it's absolutely massive. Not only that, it's also 30,000 years old, and it's still alive. An absolutely massive virus was discovered deep in the Siberian permafrost back in 2015, and its discovery reveals that huge ancient viruses are much more diverse than scientists had ever known. Now, before you start panicking that a new ancient superbug has been unleashed and it's the end of the world as we know it, just know that although the giant virus is still perfectly capable of infecting a host, they pose no real danger to us humans. They only infect single-celled amoebas during the Late Stone Age. This giant virus, since named Malavirus sapiricum, is a member of a new viral family, the fourth such family ever found. Until about a decade ago, viruses were thought of as universally tiny, and they were isolated by filtration techniques that strained out larger particles. However, after the discovery of an amoeba-infecting giant virus called a Mimi virus, first reported in the journal Science in 2003, researchers widened their search for bigger viruses. Mimi virus and its ilk are so large that they can be seen under an ordinary light microscope. The largest of this group, Megavirus chilensis, has a diameter of about 500 nanometers, and in comparison, the typical virus ranges in size from 20 nanometers up to a few hundred nanometers. Number 6. Human Sacrifice Ancient civilizations, particularly the Maya and the Inca, believed that human sacrifices were required to appease the gods to display the displeasure of mortals through famine or plague or some other natural disaster. Many relics of this antiquated practice have been found, but none has had a more sobering impact than this one. Archaeologists have unearthed the frozen remains of two girls and a boy at the top of a cloud-swept volcano in the Andes, where Incan priests sacrificed them to the gods five centuries ago. The mummies are in such good condition that the organs are intact, and in at least one case, it appears that frozen blood still fills the heart. 
They have since been giving amazingly diverse names. 13-year-old Lualiko Maiden and her younger companions Lualiko Boy and Lightning Girl. You know, I probably could have thrown a jack in there or something. Studies have shown that they were drugged to the point of unconsciousness before being buried alive on top of the mountain and left to freeze to death. It's not the discovery of these perfectly preserved mummies that's scary, but the moments that led to their untimely deaths. Number 5. Green Boots Ever since people have decided to climb Mount Everest, people have also died there. There are in fact more than 200 bodies on its slopes, and most have never been recovered. Now, while most of the identities of these unfortunate climbers are known, some are still shrouded in mystery. Prominent among these people with shadowy black stories is one known to climbers as Green Boots. Green Boots, so named because of his neon green hiking boots, can be located not far from the mountain's summit. For over two decades, he served as a grim trail marker for all climbers who came after him. His actual name is Siwang Panjur, but aside from that, nothing much is known about his background, including the circumstance leading to his death. He looks as though he could be napping, lying on his side under an overhanging rock. He's pulled his red fleece up around his face, hiding it from view, and wrapped his arms firmly around his torso to ward off the biting wind and cold. His legs stretch into the path, forcing passerbys to gingerly step over his neon green climbing boots. Many controversies surround his death. The most disturbing is that other climbers ignored his calls for help because of their desire to reach the peak of the mountain. Number 4. Frozen Skeletons Nestled in the Indian Himalayas, some 16,500 feet above sea level, sits Rup Khun Lake. 130 feet wide, it is frozen for much of the year, but on warmer days it gives you a sneak peek of what lies beneath its calm waters. Hundreds of human skeletons, some with flesh still attached, and emerge from what has become known as Skeleton Lake. Nobody really knows who these skeletons were, but there's one popular theory that they died simultaneously in a catastrophic event more than a thousand years ago. However, a recent study has literally torn that theory to shreds. New genetic analysis has revealed that there wasn't just one mass dumping of the dead, but several, spread over a millennium. This new discovery has raised more questions than answers, and it looks like its researchers are far from solving this mystery. Rock slides, migrating ice, and even human visitors are disturbed and move the remains, making it difficult to decipher when and how the individuals were buried, much less who they were. Number 3. A Tunic from the Iron Age have you ever found some strange items of clothing discarded along a hiking trail? A shoe, maybe, or a sock? Well, it turns out people have been discarding random items from clothing for generations. In 2015, Science Nordic reported an odd phenomenon, thanks again to global warming. With the melting of Norway's glaciers, archaeologists are finding things that Iron Age people dropped and couldn't be bothered to pick up. The mountains of Oakland County have yielded more than 2,000 artifacts alone, which makes it the Iron Age equivalent of the Vegas Strip. The area is so rich in artifacts because it was once a major thoroughfare for our ancient ancestors. Countless people passed back and forth over the mountains, moving livestock and manning farms with the changes in the seasons. Most of the artifacts have been things like arrowheads and horseshoes. On a minor note, they've also found mittens, and in 2011, researchers from the University of Oslo and the Norwegian University of Science and Technology found a tunic that they dated between AD 230 and AD 390. It was wadded up and covered in equally ancient horse poop but it still told us plenty about ancient textile manufacturing. It also tells us that people since the beginning of time have never cared much about littering. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick is a photo of what looks like a frozen dinosaur, a T-Rex, or some other bipedal meat eater by the looks of it. Now I know for a fact that no dinosaur as well preserved in ice has ever been found, but I'm also sure that paleontologists all over the world are still hoping. However, there have been prehistoric animals found frozen in ice before, and although they aren't as well preserved as the photo, they still provide scientists with a lot of valuable information. Get to know more next with number 2. A Woolly Rhinoceros In September of 2014, two hunters boating down a stream in Siberia noticed some wavy auburn fur perking out of the permafrost. They initially thought that it was a reindeer, but thought that it didn't look quite right. After realizing their mistake, they dug up the animal from the thawing soil, and before them was the frozen body of a baby woolly rhinoceros. Not knowing what to do with it, they kept the body over the winter, but eventually decided to turn it over to the Saka Republic Academy of Sciences. Given the name of Sasha, she is one of the few woolly rhinos yet discovered, and the only calf as well. Experts estimate she was only 18 months old when she died. Her discovery should help researchers better understand woolly rhinos' living conditions, how they developed as they grew, and how they're related to the living rhino species. 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Copper Mummies Roughly a thousand years old, the 34 mummies were found during a series of excavations that started in 1997 in a Siberian necropolis near the village of Zeleny Yar, at the base of the peninsula local people called the End of the Earth. Scientists have determined that the mysterious people were mummified by accident due to a dip in temperatures in the 14th century. The copper may have also prevented oxidation of the remains, thus keeping them as fresh as they are. What's your favorite frozen discovery? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.